So here we go. Right here we're going to learn to convert from decimal to hexadecimal. The first thing we need to know is to figure out what hexadecimal is. We'll use it in relation to the decimal format. For the first 12 years of school, you learn decimal formatted numbers, you just didn't realize that. For example, 3.48, you know, you move it over one, right, you moved it over a tenth, right? Move it over one, another tenth, so obviously you get to a hundred, so that's 48 hundreds. So that's how the decimal system worked, right? We call we call that system the base 10 system. But now we're doing hexadecimal. So let's consider a little bit of breaking it down a little etymology, right? Hexa, like a hexagon, means six, right? And then you got decimal. Well, there's 10, right? Add them together, and what do you got? You got 16. So hexadecimal is a base 16 format, right? So now we know what that is, because the 16 is going to be important, you'll find out in just a minute. And surely you've seen hexadecimal format before, you know, you've seen a whole bunch of numbers, a whole bunch of letters, you know, right? But you ever notice that all letters are A, B, C, D, E, F, and there's no H, I, J, blah, blah, blah. So now we're going to count by hexadecimal. The first 10 numbers, yes, 10 numbers, are going to be what they normally would be in a normal decimal format. And those numbers are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, all right, those are the first 10 numbers. So now let's get to the next six numbers. 10 is going to be A, 11 is going to be B, 12 is going to be C, 13 is going to be D, 14 is going to be E, and 15 is going to be F. When you include the zero, there are 16 total numbers here. That's where you get the base 16 from as well. So I had to pick a four digit number, all right? And the number that we picked was 4,512. So we're gonna convert that from decimal to hexadecimal, all right? The prerequisite requirement that you need to know here is that you need to know how to divide. That's it. Not calculator divide, but regular divide because calculator divide won't give you an accurate remainder and you need the remainder that's very key to this. Okay, so we're going to divide this all the way to and through zero. Once the whole number gets to be zero, we're going to stop with that remainder. And I'm going to illustrate this a little better right now. So the first number that we want to do is 4512 divided by 16 equals. All right, and to make everything easier, I'm going to do this right here. All right, and this is going to be our remainder. Okay, so... Here's my work area, 45, 12, divided by 16, let's see if we get 2, 32, subtract, we get that, 131, um, 8, 8, 4, 128, perfect, awesomeness, right, subtract that out, we get 3, and drop the 2, we get 32, right, and we get 282, you know, and that's going to come out with the remainder of 0. So, we're going to have 282 with a remainder of zero. The 282 is important as well because now we divide by 16 again. But what do we divide by? 282 divided by 16. See how that pattern played out, okay? So we're gonna go over here to our work area and do the same thing again. 16, 282. Oh, what do we got? Um, let's see, one of course, 16, 12, 122. Oh, let's see. Five, maybe? No. Oh, Lord, no. Let's try seven. All right, two, four, 112. Oh, nice again. And we got a remainder of 10. Okay, so we have 17 with a remainder of 10. 17, remainder of 10. Notice our whole number's not down to zero yet. Okay, so we have to keep on dividing. What do we divide by again? 17 divided by 16. Now, this you can do in your head you know it's going to be 1, right? And you know you're going to have a remainder of 1 left over. All right, so, but that's still not 0 for a whole number. So yes, we have to do it again. 1 divided by 16 equals 0. Now we have 0, but we still have the remainder of 1. From here, it gets really easy. But, uh, decimal numbers and hexadecimal numbers, 0 through 9, are going to remain the same. You're going to read bottom to top. Bottom to top. 
and that's going to be your left to right. Okay, so bottom and top we have one. But again, we have one. We have ten. Oh, ten is a special one. What? What is ten? Ten is A. Alright, and now we got the zero. Zero is there. It's just a normal number. And that's all there is to it. So, 4,512 converted from decimal to hexadecimal gives us 11A0. Use your newfound knowledge, oh young Padawan, and play around with this all you want. Thank you. Hope you enjoyed it.